اهلا بكم uh, my talk today will be about misplaced lines and tubes in the chest uh, lines and the tubes in the chest can be classified according to the route of insertion into endotracheal tubes uh, intravascular tubes pleural uh, drainage tubes um, cardiac devices and gastrointestinal tubes for each line or device we have to know what they do where properly placed where can be malpositioned and what are the complications of this malpositioning starting today with the endotracheal tube and in the next episodes i will complete the other devices endotracheal tubes one of two things either endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube starting with endotracheal tube the first question what they do they assist ventilation isolate trachea to permit control of airway prevent gastric distension and provide a direct route for suctioning as well as administration of some medications the correct placement of the endotracheal tube its tip should be three to five centimeter above the carina as you see here, this is the tracheal airway, this is the right main bronchus, this is the left main bronchus, and this is the region of the carina. So the tip of the endotracheal tube has to be 3 to 5 cm above the carina, as you see here, or midway between the medial end of the clavicles and the carina, as you see. This is another example for normal placement of the endotracheal tube. The tip three to five centimeter above the carina or midway between the medial end of the clavicles and the carina. Another example also for normal placement or correct placement of the endotracheal tube as you see here, tip above the carina by about three to five centimeter. Regarding incorrect placement and the complications of the endotracheal tube, one of two things, either distal malpositioning or proximal malpositioning. In case of distal malpositioning, most commonly malpositioned in the right main bronchus which is in uh, has obtuse angle with the trachea more than the left main bronchus as you know or proximal malpositioning i mean if a tube is positioned with the tip in the neck or above the level of the middle end of the clavicles here there is a possibility of damage to the vocal cord um, this is examples for incorrect placement. As you see here, the tip of the endotracheal tube extending to the region of the right main bronchus, obliterating the uh, right upper bronchus, as you see, causing complete collapse of the right upper loop, and of course, obliterating the main left bronchus with the resultant complete collapse and opacification of the left hemothorax. Another example, this is the endotracheal tube, it's a tip going to the right main bronchus, causing complete collapse of the left lung with shifting of all the mediastinal structures to the left hemithorax, which is uh, seen completely opacified. This is another example of proximal malpositioning of the endotracheal tube. As you see, the tip here above the level of the medial end of the clavicles, here we have the uh, risk of damaging of the vocal cords. This is regarding the endotracheal tube. The tracheostomy tube, uh, what they do, uh, use the in cases of airway obstruction above the level of the larynx. Uh, used in cases of uh, respiratory failure requiring long-term intubation more than uh, three weeks. Uh, used in cases of uh, obstruction during sleep apnea. Used in cases of paralysis of the muscles that uh, affect swallowing or respiration. Regarding the correct placement of the tracheostomy tubes, it's a tip halfway between the stoma and the carina. This is the stoma here, and this is the carina here, and this is the tip of the tracheostomy tube. So this is the normal uh, or correct placement. 
regarding the complications of the uh, incorrect placement of the uh, tracheostomy tube we have short-term complications and long-term complications short-term complications include perforation of the trachea causing pneumomediastinum pneumothorax subcutaneous emphysema and in cases of long-term com uh, complications uh, usually lead to uh, tracheal stenosis uh, most common at the region of the stoma uh, so this is everything regarding the uh, endotracheal tube either endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube inshallah in next episode we will uh, complete the other lines and devices thank you very much <music>